up? So while I was researching for and scripting the latest Feminist Epoxy video, uh, I came across an article on eHarmony that I thought I'd talk about because it's hilariously wrong. Um, this is only going to be a short video, hopefully. Um, I apologise for the angle. I'm in my other room, not the one I record in because uh, I need to have the PC so I can read the article. And I apologise for the wintry jumper. I don't have very many clean clothes at the moment. I don't know if you can see that pile of washing. I'm a messy person, so... This is an eHarmony uh, article, so you know it's going to be good, called 15 Reasons to Date a Single Mum. Let's see how many of those are actually legitimate reasons. So let's start with number one. She's no wimp. Single mums are tough and independent. Well, the majority of single mothers receive some child support from an ex-partner and some government money. Furthermore, the majority of single mothers work only part-time, unlike the majority of single fathers who work full-time. Therefore, the woman is not... Therefore, the average single mother is not earning enough money to support the kids on her own and is entirely dependent on both her ex's money and the taxpayer's money. So, independent is a no, and tough is complete assumption. Are you saying all single mothers are tough? Because I know that to be untrue. And so should anyone who's met more than, like, five single mothers. I mean, wh wh where are you getting your facts from? Number two, she's already a great mum. And weren't you looking for someone who'd be a great mother? Look no further. She's already a great mum? So you're saying all single mothers, uh, and I assume by extension all mothers, are good mothers? Well, this is obviously untrue. Uh, mothers are more likely to abuse their children than fathers. Single mothers don't even work full-time the majority of cases, so they're not even working to support their kids. So, no, the majority of single mothers are not necessarily great mothers. I'm sure there are some great single mothers out there. I know for a fact that there are good single mothers out there. But act as if this is a sweeping statement that is true for all single mothers is... Well, it's just wrong, really. Um, she's incredibly patient, but doesn't have a lot of tolerance for bad behaviour. She'll be good for you. Assuming assumptions, firstly, uh, and secondly, she'll be good for me. How will she? Because she doesn't tolerate bad behaviour? Mm, depends how you're defining bad behaviour. This sounds like she'll tell you what to do. She'll be good for you because you need to be told what to do. And again, obviously, assumptions. Some single mothers are not patient, and some single mothers let their kids run riot. In fact, single mothers uh, are the worst kind of parent we've actually witnessed due to the a massive amounts of data showing how fatherless kids are so fucked. 75% of all adolescent patients in chemical abuse centres come from fatherless homes. Uh, US. 71% of all high school dropouts come from fatherless homes. US. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. Again US. These are all going to be US unless I say otherwise. 85% of all youth in prison come from fatherless homes. And that's just one of many studies that show these pretty much same results. Learning difficulties, misbehaviour, prison, substance abuse, uh, mental illness, suicide. These things are all so much more common for a fatherless family. Uh, therefore, mm, I don't know if you're really correct when you say that um, single mothers are good automatically. She doesn't play games, she doesn't have time to just fool around. She takes her relationship seriously. Again... This is complete and utter conjecture. This is a sweeping generalisation and is completely untrue for a large number of women. She'll only keep you around if the relationship is a good thing for both her and her kids. You won't have to guess if she's into you. She'll only keep you, she'll only keep you around like you're some sort of toy or easily discarded object as long as you're good for her and for her kids. Now, I'd like to know what it means by a good thing. Uh, I'm assuming it means financially supportive. But... We'll assume that it just means emotionally supportive. Either way, this makes it seem like it's totally her decision whether you should be kept around or not. You've got to go up to her and be like, Can I have some attention, please? Can I please have some female attention? And then she's just the fucking emperor. And she's just like, mm, Not a good thing. You're not making enough money. Again, you're just being ridiculous here, eHarmony. Six. Single mums are easy to pamper. Ah, now, now we get into the real stuff. See, eHarmony clearly here is saying that a concern of men's, and a big concern clearly, is that they should be concerned about how easily they can pamper their wives. And that is obviously the man's place, according to eHarmony. eHarmony is making it very clear that as a man, you should be thinking, just how can I pamper my wife or girlfriend? A quick definition of pamper. Indulge with every attention, comfort and kindness. Spoil. Synonyms. Overindulge. 
Yes, that should be your primary concern as a man. How best to overindulge your partner. Mm-hmm, okay. Next, she's loyal and is fiercely protective of her little brood. Uh, well, is she loyal? Is that guaranteed for everyone? I mean, to be fair, there are single mothers out there who are single mothers because they cheated on their husbands or boyfriends. I'm not going to say they're a huge portion, I wouldn't know, but they definitely are out there. So, already you're c just completely incorrect. Uh, and secondly, majority of divorces are initiated by women. So clearly, loyalty is not a characteristic that single mothers have, as they're likely to have initiated a divorce. Last time I checked, people who are loyal do not instigate a breakdown of the relationship. Could be wrong, maybe I'm mis, uh, misdefining loyalty. And also, fiercely protective of a little brood, again, not necessarily true. Mothers are not the sole parent, and single mothers can and do fail with alarming regularity. So, wrong. She can articulate what she wants and needs from a relationship. Can she? Single mums are both practical and fun. There's no room for diva behaviour. Really? Again? Really? I mean, what about the single mums who are incredibly stressful people to live with? What about the single mums who are very strict? They aren't fun. And what about the single mums who spend their child support money on new shoes? They exist. Don't pretend they don't exist. They aren't practical. I mean, it's very, very unfair on everyone, really, for you to equate all single mums to this one ideal that you believe in. Uh, number ten. She's no longer a party girl, but a fun night out is still very welcome. Again, patently untrue. There are plenty of single mums out there who are still very much party girls. Number eleven. She's selfless. Single mums put others' needs before their own. They so don't. As a general rule, they just don't. I mean... The fact that the majority of people awarded primary custody, the fact that the majority of people awarded primary custody of children are single mothers shows that they clearly don't want to share with their husbands, or that their husbands are all unfit. But if you think the majority of husbands in the world are unfit, then you've got some serious issues with men. So not necessarily is she selfish. Not to mention, a lot of the time, kids are forced to live with their mother as a single mum situation, even when they express wishes to live with their fathers. Um, so, again, she might be putting her own needs for the kids' needs. There are plenty of documented cases of single mothers who have forced, um, using false accusations or insults or restraining orders, etc., uh, a husband out of the family so that he will simply provide money. And the only reason they've wanted the kids is for the child support. We know this happens. This isn't mystery or secret. This is very well-known stuff. We all know this happens, and yet we're ignoring it. Number 12. Mums make the best lasagna and give the best back rubs. Do they? I mean, do they? <laughs> my uncle makes a sick lasagna and my mum can't cook for shit. Um, I'm really back rubs. You should, date a, you should date a woman who has clearly already been in a relationship that was committed enough to have a kid, already has the baggage of a kid who isn't yours, and who is dependent entirely on either the government, her ex, or both because she'll give you a good back rub. Number 13. You'll get to take part in adventures to amusement parks, the zoo, and the park. Bonus, you'll have an excuse to play with toys. Well, I'll give this one a half point in the good point column, because by dating a woman with children, you do get to participate in things typically reserved for parents of children. But amusement parks and the zoo, I don't know about the park, but amusement parks and the zoo are both things that adults frequent. Um, and don't require kids for. And indeed, by not being with a woman and her child, you can save a lot of money. It's a lot easier to have a fun time when you don't have to worry about kids' welfare. Indeed, a young child would make an amusement park shit, because you'll have to spend all of your time looking after a young child. Although zoos are depressing, I hate zoos, the park, is it really that fun that it's worth ma like getting into a relationship with a single mother and her child? Uh, and playing with toys, again, it's liberating, I'll give you that, but is it really worth it? Number 14, she's adaptable. She knows that life doesn't always go as planned and has learned how to make the best of it. Once again, complete and utter assumption generalisation based it not at all in fact. Uh, number 15, this is the, the kicker. Single mums can do it all. Can they though? Can they? 
there's so much wrong with that statement, it's painful. Uh, and finishes off with, but they're super appreciative of a helping hand. Woo her with kindness and acts of service. Really um, interesting choice of terms there, eHarmony. Acts of service. And I think that really sums up the entire article. Men are there to service women. And single mothers deserve and need servicing. But they don't need it because they're independent and tough. But they do need that. I mean, to simply say that single mums are capable of doing it all is very... It's a very pressing uh, matter, because if you honestly believe that, you should be completely and utterly in favour of getting rid of child support and of government benefit for single mothers. If, obviously, you're in favour of child support and government benefit for single mothers, you don't think they can do it all, because you clearly don't think they can provide for their family. So, which is it, mate? So there we go. That was 15 reasons you should date a single mum. Or more likely, 14 and a half failed attempts at logic and half a point but really you can do the same thing without marrying slash dating a woman and her child although obviously you wouldn't date the child <sighs> Harriet Harman hasn't had her way yet so basically the thing we've learned from here is this unfounded and factually incorrect assumption that all single mums are wonderful and the idea that men should be working as hard as they can to provide for service and generally be useful to women Thank you for watching.